Really? What happened? When I was 15, Mr. Chevelle came. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Chevelle came. And Sister Eileen came and got all the 15-year-old girls. Come on now, look up. And we had to line up. Because I had to get right behind the rest of them. I was terribly shy. Come on, let me shy. Come on. I think most of us were shy, but there were a few girls who were a bit more forward. And um, Mr. and Mrs. Chevelle walked along and had a look at all of us. And much to my dismay, Mr. Chevelle. Mr. Chevelle came up, um, grabbed my chin, and turned me around this way and that, and had a good look at me, and nodded his head to Sister Eileen, and I stepped out, and there was another girl, Cecily. He looked at her, and she stepped out. And the rest of the girls were told to go back to their normal duties. And we stood and talked to Mr. and Mrs. Chevelle just about, you know, weather and things like this. And that was the beginning. They stayed with us until the, uh, the time that uh, Mr. Chevelle came in. He told me that he was uh, making a film and that he would be back to see me to see if I had any girls that may be suitable for the part of Jeddah. Uh, the first time he came, uh, Rosie and her brothers had gone to the station. It was one of these times when they hadn't returned. So he interviewed two or three other girls and then went north. He said, I'm going to take the three of them north and give them all a try. Okay, um, it's right, is it? Okay, right. Turn your head, love, a bit. Turn right around slowly, though. Don't, don't do it too quickly. Good profile. Come on, right around. That's good. Right. Bring it back now. Not too quick. That's the girl. Now look straight at us. Okay, love, now go and lean against the ladder. That's it. Put your leg up. Now give us a bit of a wave. Go on, put your hand right up. That's that girl. Big wave. Smile. Smile. And he still hadn't found the right girl. He said to me, um, are there any other girls? And I suddenly thought of Rosie and I said, well, there is another girl who came in after you were here last time. And uh, he said, well, could I see her? And I brought Rosie and Rosie didn't know what it was all about at all. Uh, she had quite an aplomb and uh, as soon as ever he spotted her I could see that he was very very interested in her and he said to me after he'd interviewed her he said I think I've got the right girl 139 double A take two Jenna hello Millie hello Bessie how's your picking in That was good. I wish every time could be like that. Like what, Jetta? Like that ride. I like the wind pulling my hair, biting my face. I didn't really and truly, I didn't know what it was all about. Um, I think it was, you know, I picked it up from day to day, living with the crew and their discussion, and I finally realised that it was going to be a picture show, because that's the way we call it here in Central Australia. It's not a film. It's a picture show. The buffalo camp, and I sleep on the ground. I look up and up, see the stars dancing, a big crawberry. It must be fun to dance a crawberry. A real wild fellow one, no shoes, and not too much dress. But I still didn't realise that I was going to appear on the screen. And um, when I actually saw it, I was so interested in seeing myself on the screen that I didn't take in the story until about the second time I saw it and I actually saw what the story was all about. Mrs Chevelle probably pushed me a little bit into things, you know. But 
Mr. Chevelle always on, appeared to be very gentle and thoughtful. And, uh, I thought a tremendous amount of him. For instance, I'd say, I don't want to do it anymore, you know. And uh, Mrs. Chevelle would say, OK, then, well, off you go. And here I was, say, in Sydney, and, of course, I wouldn't know where to go. <laughs> That's it. Again, come on. Again. Bite it. Bite it. That's it. Now, ready to throw it away. Oh. I'd been pushed about since I started school, and so it was really nothing new. What a white person told you to do. You did it. You didn't ask questions. If you're unlucky enough to be caught by one of them, you just did what you were told.